Brian Ken Show continues. John Cobalt and Ken Shampoo, KFI, AM 640, more stimulating talk. Well, if you miss him, Jerry Brown will be gone for a few days. Uh, tomorrow, he's headed to New York for the United Nations Climate Summit. Mayor Yoga Boy's there, too, John. Uh, Eric uh, oh, Garcetti yeah. is also in New York City for part of this United Nations Climate Summit. In fact, Jerry Brown's supposed to make a speech. Do, do you know who's not going, though? Because it really doesn't matter if Yoga Boy and uh, the Demented One show up at the Climate Summit because, you know, they're just, they're just you know, local boobs. Um, the, uh, there's nobody from China or India. Like the leader no, of not China, again. And the le- they're, not, they're not showing up. But they still put out a lot of global warming well, emissions. China is number one and India is number three. They still are? <laughs> oh, and they will be for the rest of our lives. lives yeah, In a China's. few years, India will be number two. And uh, they, 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 their top leaders don't even show up at this thing. They, it used to be a few years ago, everybody would, everybody would play pretend and they would go to the summit. And then some years they would put together like a fake accord, some kind of greenhouse gas agreement. <laughs> which nobody would follow, all the rules would be broken. Now they're not even showing up to go through the charade. Nobody cares. No, oh, no. I uh, Well, people took to the streets in New York to protest. In fact, more than 30,000 marched on Midtown Manhattan yesterday, another event called Flood Wall Street, claiming that Wall Street investment firms finance practices that cause climate change. But the odd thing is, if you look online at these stories, people are posting pictures of all the trash that these marchers oh, left behind. These are like third generation dirty hippies. They left enormous mountains of garbage behind. This is just some trendy, silly religion to join. And they don't actually care about the planet because the amount of garbage they left behind was unbelievable. Oh, these are the Occupoosters. One guy yeah, said... it is another version of the dirty Occupoosters. We're That's highlighting all. capitalism as the target, said Yates McKee. Hey, that... You an know art what? critic from Upper Met... An art critic. An art critic. Yeah. Capitalism equals climate chaos, he said. Art critic equals homeless. <laughs> An art critic. That's, that's tough enough to be an artist, but then you're an art yeah, critic. Yeah, isn't that, I love that. It's like, oh, uh, so you're an artist? No, I criticize other people's talent. <laughs> oh, very good. What kind of a-hole becomes that? Yeah, yeah, I tear apart everybody else's creations, but I actually don't make anything myself. But but I march in, in, in silly uh, religious cults. You know, I, I found something in the Wall Street Journal today along this line. Um, John Fund. Yeah, John Fund, sure. He, he, he was ref- on the show once. Yeah. He referenced a piece written by a guy named Stephen Coonan. Now, listen to who Coonan is. He was the undersecretary for science in the energy department under Obama. All right? So this guy was in the Obama administration. And he wrote a piece the other day in the Wall Street Journal said, we often hear that there is scientific consensus about climate change. But as far as the computer models go, there is not a useful consensus at the level of detail to assess human influence. In other words, we really don't know how much humans can influence the climate. The models roughly describe the shrinking of Arctic sea ice over the last two decades, but they failed to describe the comparable growth of Antarctic sea ice, which is now at a record high. So any serious serious discussion of the changing climate must begin by acknowledging not only the scientific certainties, but also the uncertainties. In other words, since the climate isn't cooling, and since the sea ice, even in the Arctic now, is increasing, it's clear the computer models from 20 years ago were wrong, and while there might be human influence on the climate, maybe it's too small to notice. Maybe the other forces that affect the climate overwhelm our influence. In fact, uh, he's got another quote here from Roy Spencer, who used to be a senior scientist for climate studies at NASA. He's changed his mind on this. He said, for many years, we were hearing from the scientific consensus that natural climate change is not as strong as human-caused warming, nowhere near as strong. But the lack of warming in 17 years has forced these same scientists to claim that, well, the natural climate is is canceling out human-caused warming. warming. And he says, come on, guys, you can't have it both ways. 
You can't claim, well, the models show that we're destroying the climate, and then they, and then you say, well, well, the reason it hasn't happened is because the natural climate drivers have overwhelmed the human influence. Well, okay. Let's. So then, what are you, what are you worried about? If there's, and, and again, it's 17 years where there's been no increase in the surface temperature on the planet. 17 years. So I see all these these dirty, smelly acupoosters marching yesterday, and I see boneheads like Jerry Brown and Eric Garcetti stumbling around waving their climate flags, and I'm thinking, at what point has this become a psychosis, a total break from reality? Yeah, it is an obsession it, and it a is passion now, it, that may it, not have a lot behind it. No, I mean, uh, it's, it's... I thought the last time we checked, they said that all the warming was going in the oceans. Remember that? Well, there's there's uh, actually a news site that's keeping track. They have 52 separate reasons why the Earth hasn't warmed over 17 <laughs> years. And one of them is the ocean st- has sucked the warmth. Yeah, they've absorbed it. Yeah. Well, okay, so what, what do you, what do you want to what do you want to do? You yeah. have China and India not even participating in the climate conference. Well, that's two and a half billion people. China's the number one carbon dioxide producer. And in a few years, India will be number two, and we're going to fall to number three. So if they don't even show up, and then you have these acupoosters leaving behind all the garbage in the streets, then you have blockheads like Leonardo DiCaprio showing up on his private plane to march in the streets. Uh, what? All we need is Arnold. Yeah. In his uh, yeah, private plane. Uh, yeah. It's like, yeah, where is that clown? These people, this, are, this, is, this is weird. This really is cult-like. Yeah, and this is the part that will get to me. Uh, Jerry Brown, before he left, signed a bunch of bills to try to get people to buy more electric cars. They want to have at least a million zero-emission vehicles or near-zero-emission vehicles on the road in this state in less than nine years. And it's they're trying to incentivize low-income people to buy them. They've been doing this now for 24 years. Since 1990, California has been pushing this crap. And the cars are really expensive, even with the rebates. And there's and 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 the uh, the range of the cars is limited, and there's nowhere to to charge them. So well, the, the, the same problems from 1990 are still here in 2014. They're going right? to install electric vehicle charging stations in apartment buildings in low income communities. That's part of this bill. Low and you tell me how the poor people are going to afford these cars. I got one more quote to give you from this John Fun thing. Listen to this closely. Gordon Folks of the Cascade Policy Institute. He says carbon dioxide is said to be responsible for global warming that is not occurring, for accelerated sea level rise that is not occurring, for glacial and sea ice melt that is not occurring, and for increased extreme weather that is not occurring. There has been no global warming increase since 1997, even though the human contribution to carbon dioxide has risen by 25% in the atmosphere. So all the computer models are wrong. We have 25% more carbon dioxide, no increase in temperature, no sea level rise, no extreme weather increase, no global warming, no glacier melt, no sea ice melt. None of it's happened for 17 freaking years. And now you have the climate guys admitting this. And one more note on the electric vehicles. I thought you'd like to hear this. Boulder Electric Vehicle has shut down its Chatsworth assembly plant, laid off 50 workers. They moved into that space in 2012, began producing vehicles there last year. They received $3 million of your tax money, a grant from the California Energy Commission to produce delivery vans, flatbeds, and service trucks, which I guess were supposed to be all electric. They didn't make it. They claim they went out of business. All they're claiming for now, they've just shut down. (laughs) We have essentially mothballed the company, but we're not filing bankruptcy, according to their chief. (laughs) Okay, we'll sit and wait for that to reopen. All right. Well, a chance for you to raise your car tax for bike lanes. Terry Brown signed a bill for that too. Coming up. Quick, lean down next to your radio and take a picture. Cheese.